Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You may not know this, but I love doing DIY projects around the house. And on this channel, I've shared with you a few of my DIY projects, and I still have many more planned. Now, not only do I find it relaxing and entertaining at the same time, but I also learn a lot from doing these projects, especially when you provide some feedback. So today we're gonna to be unboxing and installing this 72 inch by 36 inch LED mirror from a Amora store. Now this mirror will replace my existing bathroom mirror and hopefully give our bathroom a little bit more character. Now initially, I had thought about just framing my existing mirror, but because a Amora store reached out and asked me if I would be interested in checking out a couple of the solutions that they have for their large selection of mirrors, and then also sharing my opinion and walkthrough of the installation on my channel, I figured why not? It was a good opportunity to not only upgrade my mirror, but also give my bathroom a little bit more character. Now, first things first, a Moore store did provide me with two different types of mirrors to test out. That means I'll probably be making a follow-up video for the other mirror, but they're giving me free reign to share with you my true opinions about both of these mirrors. Now, if you're like me and you've never heard of a Moore store, they're a company that has been a leading brand and player in the bathroom mirror industry for several years. They also hold about 60% of Amazon's market share when it comes to bathroom mirrors. They're considered one of the top sellers in its category with a lot of satisfied customers. Now, personally, I don't know too much about the company since I've never had to replace or install a bathroom mirror before. But just looking at the feedback from their sales pages alone tells me a lot about the company and how satisfied their customers are. Now, if you're like me and reviews just aren't enough, I'm hoping this video will help you make a decision. So stay tuned and we'll check this thing out. Okay, so again, what we've got here is a 72 inch by 36 inch bathroom mirror with built-in LED lights and light strips. And according to specs, it's got these dual embedded lights, which should give the mirror enhanced illumination to ensure that you've always got sufficient lighting in your bathroom. That lighting should offer true to life skin, texture, tone, and a greater amount of clarity when you're using the mirror itself. You've also got the ability to adjust between different various levels of brightness and color temperature, which you can also customize and save using a built-in smart memory function to preserve the settings for different people in your household. Now, in addition to that, the mirror is designed with shatterproof and corrosion resistant materials. And it also has an epoxy coat with anti-fog technology that's been acid tested to ensure that the mirror can last as long as you need. And apparently, according to the website, it's also supposed to be easy to install, which is something that we're definitely gonna be confirming in this video. So just to summarize, Today, we will be installing the larger of the two mirrors, and then shortly after, which we'll probably cover in a separate video, we'll install a smaller RGB mirror in our guest bathroom. Okay, so as you can see, this mirror is not only big, but it is taller and larger than me. So it's definitely gonna take more than one person to unbox and install it. So I definitely recommend you calling a friend or a family member or someone to help you not only unbox it, but also to install it. Okay, so first we'll just do unboxing. Okay, so from an installation standpoint, you have two options for installing this mirror. One, you can plug it into your standard outlet, or two, if you wanna hide this cable, you can cut the cable and hardwire it directly to the power source itself. Okay, so aside from the glass, it does look like the frame itself is an aluminum-like material, which houses all the cabling, the LEDs, and wiring inside the fixture itself. And included with the mirror itself is an accessories box, which also includes the mounts, which you're gonna affix to the wall, which this mirror will hang off of. So basically, you screw this into either your stud or the wall itself and then you slide the mirror down on top of it in which it would rest on the hinge of this uh, fixture itself, which of course is gonna hold the entire mirror up. In addition to that, you also do get a single white glove, which helps you to avoid fingerprints. Would have been nice if more than one set of gloves came with it or more than one glove came with it, and maybe two or even four, because definitely this is not gonna be a single person job. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is, of course, remove the original mirror. 
Now the way we did this, of course, was start by taping up the original mirror using regular painter's tape. Now the reason why we did that was because we wanted to make sure that when taking the mirror off the wall and moving it, that the mirror would not break. So the next thing I did was, of course, to use a stud finder to figure out where all the studs were. For my peace of mind, I wanted to see if I could get at least one of the mounts secured to the stud itself, just to make sure that it was more stable and more sturdy. After that, the next step was to make sure that the mounts were straight, and I used a level in order to do this, just to make sure it was level all across the wall. Now, like I mentioned before, it is good if you do have a friend that can help you out because it just makes the process move a whole lot faster. Once that was done, I needed to use the mounts to determine where I needed to pre-drill the holes themselves to connect the mount to the wall. Each of the mount brackets do have two holes in them so you can secure it to the wall. Now what's good is I was able to install the mounting brackets with at least one of the holes attached to a stud. Now because I'm plugging the mirror into an outlet rather than stripping and wiring the mirror directly, I ended up needing to use shims so I could add some space between the wall and the mirror for the power cable to run to the outlet. I added shims at the top and bottom to make sure the mirror was evenly spaced. Once all that was done, we mounted the mirrors onto the mounting brackets and it slided on perfectly. As you can see, the LEDs on the mirror are super bright. Now the buttons on the mirror are touch sensitive and you can simply press and hold to adjust the brightness of the LED lights themselves. Once the mirror was mounted, it was all a matter of cleaning up and filling in the holes and touching up the paint so that we could hide all the little screw holes and the previous holes that were drilled holding the original mirror. I also added a little bit of caulk to cover the gap between the splash guard tile and the wall because the previous mirror was hiding this space. Okay guys, so as you can see, we have finally finished installing the mirror. And at least for me, it looks very nice and I actually like it a lot better than our older mirror. It's a little bit shorter, but we were able to compensate and raise it up a little bit, which allows us to illuminate the counter space a little bit more. Now when it comes to the installation, I will say that it is pretty easy to install. The only challenges that we ran into were really around measurement and then also once we got it installed the first time, it was a little bit high for my wife, so we decided to lower it down just a little bit. But overall, I do think that it did turn out very well. Now one thing that you do need to consider, especially if you're in a new home with one of those builder mirrors, is that it does stick out about an inch from the wall. So you'll need to think about that when you're planning the installation. Now when it came to the install, we did decide to just plug it into the wall and just hide the plug itself rather than strip the plug and wire it directly to the back wiring. That was a lot easier and it still looks very nice, I think. And it allows us a little bit of flexibility to update, make changes, or even swap out the mirror in the future. Now what I do like about the light is that the light itself is very uniform. There are no dead spots and you can't see the LED beads as well. It just looks like one continuous light all around the mirror. And then what we also noticed during the installation was that there is an anti-fog mat that's stuck to the back of the mirror here, which I guess is the anti-fog uh, technology, so that if it does get humid in here and this does start to fog up, at least that section be, can be defrosted and then clear for you to see yourself in the mirror if you need to. So that's also a good thing. Now when it comes to adjusting the warmth and the brightness of the light, all you have to do is press and hold that center button and this thing will start to dim. And then all you have to do to brighten it back up is press and hold it again and it'll brighten up as well. 
So you can choose the level of brightness and warmth of the light itself, which is a nice feature to have. And then finally, I like that the buttons themselves are embedded in the mirror. So it is just a capacitive touch mirror and it doesn't even catch fingerprints, which is also a nice feature. Okay, so this was the first unboxing and installation video of this very large mirror from Amora Store. Overall, I think the installation went well. I love the mirror and the way it looks, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Amora Store does have a huge selection of LED as well as RGB mirrors for you to choose from. And if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself, I will leave a link to it in the description section below. I do hope that I caught enough footage and captured enough detail for you to enjoy this video and find it helpful. If you did, please support this channel by smashing that like button and subscribing. Please also make sure to ring that bell icon so you can get notified when I post new content, especially the second video where I'm going to install the smaller mirror in our guest bathroom. Until next time, see ya.